I wear a lot of black shirts and I can't stand seeing little spots on my shirt on camera. But I'm sure that there's still gonna be one at least somewhere. And I have a golden retriever, so having a lint roller is kind of a must. Welcome into a new video. In this video, I have some gun stuff to talk to you about. So this is really just to give us a nice example of what kind of a regular stock trigger is gonna be like. But this gun right here is my Shadow Systems DR920. It's got a Trigicon RMR on there, but we're not really talking about that today. We are talking all about this trigger. So not just the trigger shoe that you see here, but also the trigger inside, the actual, me the uh, entire mechanics inside. I'm just gonna show you what it is. I'm not gonna show you how to install it or anything like that. I'm just very excited about this gun right now, to be perfectly honest with you. Um, and I just wanted to talk to you a little bit more about it. And I thought if it brings me this much joy, maybe it'll bring some of you a lot of joy too. So let's check it out. This is becoming my favorite gun. I had a Glock 17 Gen 5 MOS for a time, but I think just the width of the, the grip on that gun was just a little bit too much. It was just, I don't know, you know, you guys know Glocks, but for some reason, the 19 feels great to me. I absolutely, like, it fits me like a glove. But for some reason, the 17 was not. So I, I whenever I got the uh, DR920, which is a Glock 17, essentially like a Gen 4 from Shadow Systems, um, it just fits so much better. It's a lot slimmer. And I've recently fallen in love with the Talon, the granular uh, Talon grips, the sandpapery one versus the uh, the rubber. Um, the rubber I used to like a lot, but I, I it just doesn't really do anything for me now. Um, I would rather have it fully stippled and all that, but for twenty dollars you can get this granular, and it stays right on there. And never, I've never had them peel off. They're fantastic. Just had to do a little bit of uh, working it to get it on here because it wasn't quite meant for this gun. But I absolutely just love this gun so much and the RMR was a great addition as well. So let me get right to the point of what we're talking about here. This right here is, let me keep using this camera over here. This is the Johnny Glock Vex trigger shoe for the Timney Alpha trigger system. So I bought the Timney Alpha trigger for this gun and you can get it, make sure you, if you're gonna put it on like a shadow system, so make sure you get the one that's for like Gen 3, Gen 4, because uh, these are technically Gen 4s. Not long after that, I get an email from Johnny Glock. I, I guess, I think I bought a couple shoes from him in the past. It said that he's coming out with a shoe for the Timney Alpha. And this is literally while I was waiting. It took a couple weeks, two, three, four weeks to get the Alpha Trigger system after I ordered it. Um, I think they're pretty pretty popular and in demand. So it was another $100, but I was like, let me try it out because Johnny explained what the, uh, the, the new intricacies that he put into the trigger shoe and uh, address some of the failings of what the Timney shoe was. I never even I've never even shot the Timney one. I immediately put this one right on there. No harm, no foul for me. But I absolutely love this trigger shoe. Um, it's it has the same. It's kind of like a flat face. Let me see if I can show you guys better on this camera. It's kind of like a flat face, but it's it has rounded edges on the sides. So it's a little bit of the best of both worlds. So you still get that straight down trigger shoe. Uh, like a flat face, but it just rounds the edges a little bit like a convex um, shoe. Best of both worlds. I, I don't mind. Actually, on the 19 here, we have a... I, I, I got this off of eBay, this shoe. I can't stand Glock trigger shoes, by the way, factory ones. I can't stand them. The, uh, the little safety mechanism here on the shoe always digs into my finger. I know I'm whiny, whatever but I just couldn't stand them. So I ordered this one and this one's fine. I can't remember who I got this one from, but it, it, it does a fine job on the 19. But this one is just kind of like a, a luxury trigger shoe in my opinion. And I'm super, super happy with it. It just feels really good. So what I did was I installed everything. We had to wait, you know, if it took me forever to wait and wait, wait to get everything in, got it in, put it all together. Putting it all together is a breeze. If you don't know how to do it, just go on. Johnny I is actually getting um, a lot of his videos taken off of YouTube. So if you're trying to find his stuff, go on to Rumble and find his stuff. He uh, He's actually based here in Florida. It's actually a really great channel for just everyday watching as far as if you're interested in how they polish trigger bars and, and uh, connectors and just overall I, I got a great tip from him about putting 17 Glock 17 
springs, magazine springs, in Glock 15 round magazines. I think I said that right. So you take, uh, essentially take the 17 spring out of the, the 17 round spring and put it in the 15 round magazine and you get more uh, pressure, spring pressure, whenever you are shooting because you don't want to have any kind of a magazine failure. So I did that for my defensive carry magazines and it's worked out great so far. So when I went to the range last time, I, I actually ordered this gun with the connector that Johnny offers. And I found out after I got to the range, uh, after I got back from the range and installed, I went ahead and put the uh, Shadow Systems connector back in the gun and the trigger became way lighter. So I think that the one from Johnny's maybe a 5.5 pound or whatever, I'll keep it, you know, just to have it. But um, I, I left the stock one in and now just watch, watch this trigger. I'm gonna do it with my left hand so you can see. There's your take up, break. Yeah, yeah, exactly. We're just releasing the safety right there. I'm, there's my wall. That's it right, I mean, can you guys see this? Am I doing this justice? Boom, right there, one more time. And then let's, let's show you the reset. Uh, let's show you the reset here. Very positive reset, just what you want. I'm gonna do this left-handed here. Just what you want. Very positive click, audible click. Sounds fantastic, feels fantastic. One more time here, let's do it just with the right the right trigger, right finger here. See if I can do it on this camera. I mean, it's unbelievably light. And some of you guys that are in the comp competition world, you're used to this. I do have a 2011 and a 1911. I'm used to a nice light trigger, but not on a striker gun. So obviously this is not gonna be great for for um, concealed carry or any, I, I wouldn't do that for this gun anyway. This is more competitive and it's a little bit of me kind of tinkering a little bit and just having fun with this. The other thing that I actually installed was I, I went to Terran Tactical's website and ordered the lighter striker spring from his website. It was like five or 10 bucks. So I installed that as well. So the combination of, all, of that striker spring, the Timney Alpha trigger, and the Johnny Glock Vex trigger shoe for the Timney Alpha trigger. That's what's gotten me this trigger. And I cannot wait to get back out to the range. And it was great before, but I could still tell that it was a little harder than I was expecting. And then when I changed that connector out, I was like, oh my gosh, this is exactly what I was thinking it should be. Let me see if I can show this, this camera. I'll have to do it upside down here. Maybe I can flip, maybe I can flip the camera. <laughs> So let me break it down really quick. Learned a lot from Johnny also on how to oil this appropriately. And you know, you, you put some grease in there. So I actually got some Loctite cells, a grease. It's actually the grease that I think comes on Glocks um, and where they have them put in with the connector and where, all, where the trigger housing and everything is. Cause the grease is gonna last a lot longer than oil. Um, so I did that, but right there, I'm not going to break it all down. You guys can go look that up if you want, but it's very interesting how Timney has this set up and then you have to install a, the spring that goes in right there. Uh, that's a part of the Timney alpha trigger. And then the cool thing with the Johnny Glock trigger, the Vex shoe is he actually built in inside of here. He built in a little um, a little cutout for where that spring is supposed to go so that that spring can't walk out or move out or anything like that. So it makes installation a breeze. Um, it's a little more difficult whenever you're in, you're putting the locking block back in. You have to you have to press down this spring right here and then push the locking block down. But once you get it, it, it makes perfect sense and you can do it a million times. It's not it's not hard at all. Uh, I would not, like I said, recommend doing this on any kind of carry gun. You know, don't listen to me. I'm no expert, but uh, I'm just a dude. So uh, do whatever you want. But I know that if you're in a self-defense situation, whenever everything kind of hits the fan and you're not really thinking clearly, I don't want to accidentally have that trigger go off. And I, I have the Glock 19 here. The only thing I, I did to the 19 um, as far as the trigger goes, is I put a ghost connector. I think it's the ghost edge, so it's not anything anything crazy. But just so that you can see this trigger, there's your take up. So immediately, let's just talk about the take up first, right? 
So off and then take up right there. So let's not even fire it yet. Go back to the Timney. And then let's just show you one more time the actual firing of the gun. Boom. One more time, show you reset. So light. And then let's show you the firing on the Glock 19. Look at all that creep. See all that creep? The gun had to go through. The gun has to hit the wall first. And it's and you're feeling that spring. You're feeling the, the, the tension right there. It's it's heavy. And then Pull, 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 where is it, 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 right there. And obviously that's my left finger, so let me let me try and do this with my right. I'm, I'm much more accustomed to this gun. Let me just hold it how I normally would hold it. Uh, so in my head, whenever I'm firing this gun at the range, I know already, look at all that take up. I just know already, bang, go back right to the wall and fire. So it's very predictable and easy for me. I, I honestly love this gun. This gun... I, I like it whenever triggers have the, the trigger races your finger back to the reset. So the, the part that goes from from here to here, it's it's like forcing your finger back out. And I, I really like that on that gun, and I think a lot of that has to do with the the ghost connector in that one. But on this one, with the grip, you can see you, you know how I was doing all all of this like wiggly stuff with on the other gun. Let's do it one more time. One more time. Look at all that I can, all that play that I have right there. I don't have, I can't do that at all because I'm hitting the wall immediately. Hitting the wall immediately. What I'll do is actually take this gun out to the range. Uh, I should be going again in the next week or two. But anyway, just wanted to convey my excitement for this trigger. Hopefully you guys buy something from Johnny Glock. Uh, great small business. Um, you guys should definitely find something on his website. Appreciate you watching this video. If you found this good, helpful, interesting, terrible, uh, atrocious, whatever, please give me a comment down below. I actually really, I respond to everybody that comments. So uh, I look forward to talking with you guys in the comments and I actually learn from you guys as well. So please leave me a comment below. Make sure you check out this video. It's the last one that I did talking about my everyday carry knife collection. Let me know what you think of that one. And then right here is my review of the CR920 with my first 200 rounds through the gun from a few months ago. Great gun. Go check it out. Thanks. All right. Thumbnail time. Anytime you see people doing the two gun thing, so stupid. Because like it's like it's such a Hollywood thing. I mean, I guess in dire situations, and but you're not going to be very unless you're super close up to people. I guess I don't know. It just seems very stupid. But it looks cool. Maybe that maybe this will be the thumbnail. You guys all know before I do. This isn't going to get me demonetized at all. I actually haven't reached monetization on this channel yet because you have to hit certain metrics. So talking about guns and knives and stuff, I'm probably never going to get monetized on this channel. But here we go. Let's let's make this the thumbnail.